UW headquarters tonight. Uh, Shay, you actually got a chance to talk to some people who took advantage mm -hmm. of this today. Hey, Shay, yeah, so many people thankful tonight. And really, I asked MLGW exactly if they know how many people tonight are without water. They couldn't give us those exact numbers, but the people we did talk to, they were so grateful for the giveaway. Thank you. All right, All right, thank you. Giving his thanks, we watched Bobby Jones pick up a case of water from the MLGW office off Lamar today. He was the first person ready for pickup in a long line. We talked to him as he waited. I got him around about nine. Nine. I thought I'm gonna be trying to be the first one in nine to get this good water. The giveaway started at one in the afternoon. He waited four hours. I said, I can't let this pass up. They talking about boiling water. I ain't got nothing to boil because I don't have any. Oh, you got, you don't have water? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You have a good one, sir. Everyone we talked to had their own story to share about their experiences following the Arctic blast. My water is off, and plus my apartment flooded. Living room, dining room, and the kitchen, all flooded. All it's messed up. It's, just, it's a mess. But Catherine Jones is staying upbeat. She thinks of those who might have a tougher time getting fresh water. I'm fortunate I can pick up some, and if I have some left, I will give give my neighbors a few bottles, you know. Every little bit helps, and a little bit counts. Staying thankful despite the struggle. Well, I'm still living. I got my health and strength, so I'm happy. But so far, I'm blessed. I'm blessed y'all getting that water today for everyone. We got to love their spirit there. And MLGW says they will host more giveaways in the future if needed. Of course, we'll be sure to keep you posted about that. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3.